Maiolica is Italian tin glazed pottery dating from the Renaissance period. It is decorated in colors on a white background, sometimes depicting historical and mythical scenes. These works known as Astoriato wares. By the late 15th century, several places, mainly small cities in northern and central Italy, were producing sophisticated pieces for a luxury market in Italy and beyond. Name The name is thought to come from the medieval Italian word for Mallorca, an island on the route for ships bringing hispano wares from Valencia to Italy. Moorish potters from Mallorca are reputed to have worked in Sicily and it has been suggested that their wares reached the Italian mainland from Caltagirone. An alternative explanation of the name is that it comes from the Spanish term obra de Malaga, denoting imported wares from Malaga, or obra de Meliqua, the Spanish name for luster. In the 15th century, the term Maiolica referred solely to lusterware, including both Italian-made and Spanish imports, and tin glaze wares were known as Bianchi. Eventually the term came to be used when describing ceramics made in Italy, lusted or not, of tin glazed earthenware. With the Spanish conquest of Mexico, tin glazed Maiolica wares came to be produced in the Valley of Mexico as early as 1540, at first in imitation of tin glazed pottery imported from Seville. Mexican Maiolica is known famously as Talavera. By a convenient extension and limitation the name may be applied to all tin glazed ware, of whatever nationality, made in the Italian tradition. The name faience being reserved for the later wares of the 17th century onwards, either in original styles or, more frequently, in the Dutch-Chinese tradition, the term maiolica is sometimes applied to modern tin glazed ware made by studio potters. The English word maiolica is also used for Victorian maiolica, a different type of pottery with clear, colored glazes. Tin glazed earthenware. Tin glazing creates a brilliant white, opaque surface for painting. The colors are applied as metallic oxides or as fritted under glazes to the unfired glaze, which absorbs pigment like fresco, making errors impossible to fix, but preserving the brilliant colors. Sometimes the surface is covered with a second glaze that lends greater shine and brilliance to the wares. In the case of lusted wares, a further firing at a lower temperature is required. Kilns required wood as well as suitable clay. Glaze was made from sand, wine lees, lead compounds and tin compounds. Analysis of samples of Italian Maiolica pottery from the Middle Ages has indicated that tin was not always a component of the glaze whose chemical composition varied. The 15th century wares that initiated Maiolica as an art form were the product of an evolution in which medieval lead glazed earthen wares were improved by the addition of tin oxides under the influence of Islamic wares imported through Sicily. Such archaic wares are sometimes called proto-Maiolica. During the later 14th century, the limited palette of colors was expanded from the traditional manganese purple and copper green to include cobalt blue, antimony yellow and iron oxide orange. S. Graffito wares were also produced in which the white tin oxide glaze was scratched through to produce a design from the revealed body of the ware. Scrap S. Graffito ware excavated from kilns in Bacchetu, Montelupo and Florence show that such wares were produced more widely than at Perugia and Città di Castello, the places to which they have been traditionally attributed. History of production Refined production of tin glazed earthen wares made for more than local needs was concentrated in central Italy from the later 13th century, especially in the Contada of Florence. The medium was also adopted by the Della Robbia family of Florentine sculptors. The city itself declined in importance as a center of Maiolica production in the second half of the 15th century perhaps because of local deforestation, and manufacture was scattered amongst small communes, and, after the mid-15th century, at Fenza, potters from Montelupo set up the potteries at Cafagiolo. In 1490, 23 master potters of Montelupo agreed to sell the year's production to Francesco Antinori of Florence. Montelupo provided the experienced, 
Potters who were set up in 1495 at the Villa Medicia di Cafagiolo by its Medici owners. In the 15th century, Florentine wares spurred the production of Maiolica at Arezzo and Siena. Italian Maiolica reached an astonishing degree of perfection in this period. In Romagna, Fenza, which gave its name to Fiance, produced fine Maiolica from the early 15th century. It was the only significant city in which ceramic production industry became a major part of the economy. Bologna produced lead glazed wares for export. Orvieto and Deruta both produced Maiolica in the 15th century. In the 16th century, Maiolica production was established at Castel Durante, Urbino, Gubbio and Pesaro. The early 16th century saw the development of historiato wares on which historical and mythical scenes were painted in great detail. The State Museum of Medieval and Modern Art in Arezzo claims to have the largest collection of historiato wares in Italy. Astoriato wares are also well represented in the British Museum, London. Some Maiolica was produced as far north as Padua, Venice and Turin and as far south as Palermo and Caltagirone in Sicily and Latazza in Apulia. In the 17th century Savona began to be a prominent place of manufacture. The variety of styles that arose in the 16th century all but defies classification. Goldthwaite notes that Paride Berardi's morphology of Pesaro Maialish comprises four styles in 20 subgroups, Tiziano Manana categorized Ligurian, wears in four types, eight subcategories and 36 further divisions. Galeazzo Corra's morphology of Montelupo's production is in 19 groups and 51 categories. The diversity of styles can best be seen in a comparative study of apothecary jars produced between the 15th and 18th centuries. Italian cities encouraged the pottery industry by offering tax relief, citizenship, monopoly rights and protection from outside imports. An important mid-16th century document for the techniques of Maiolica painting is the treatise A Cipriano Piccol Passo. The work of individual 16th-century masters like Nicola da Urbino, Francesco Zantaravalli, Guido Giorentino and Orazio Fontana of Urbino, Mastro Giorgio of Gubbio and Maestro Dominigo of Venice has been noted. Gubbio Luster used colors such as greenish-yellow, strawberry-pink and a ruby-red. The tradition of Maiolica died away in the 18th century, under competition from inexpensive porcelains and white earthenware. Some of the principal centers of production still produce Maiolica, which is sold worldwide. Modern Maiolica looks different from old Maiolica because its glaze is usually opacified with the cheaper zircon rather than tin. Though there are potteries that specialize in making authentic-looking Renaissance-style pieces with genuine tin glaze, gallery, blue and white vase with oak leaf decor, Florence, 1430, Louvre Museum, Fenza, Casapiro to workshop, C1510-30, Fenza, Astoriato where by Baldas Ermanara, after Giovanni Antonio da Brescia, C1520-47, an Alberello from Venice or Castel Durante, 16th century, approx 30 cm high, decorated in cobalt blue, copper green, antimony yellow and yellow ochre, Burrell Collection, Bibliography, Kyga Smith, Allen, Tin Glaze Pottery in Europe and the Islamic World, The Tradition of 1000 Years in Maiolica, Fiance and Delft where ISBN 0-571-09349-3, Cohen, David Harris and Hess, Catherine, A Guide to Looking at Italian Ceramics, Cora, Galeazzo Storia della Maiolica di Firenze e del Contado, Secoli 14 e 15 1973, the standard monograph on the main early centers, published in an extravagant format that now brings over $1,200 on the book market. Fenza, journal published since 1914 devoted to Maiolica and glazed earthenwares. Honey, WB, European Ceramic Art, Liverani.
La maiolica italiana sino alla comparsa della porcellana europea a summary of a century's study, largely based on surviving examples. Musashio, Jacqueline, Marvels of Maiolica, Italian Renaissance Ceramics from the Corcoran Gallery of Art, Osterman, Matthias, The New Maiolica, Contemporary Approaches to Color and Technique ISBN 0-7136-4878-3. Rackham, Bernard, Italian Maiolica, Wilson, Timothy, Ceramic Art of the Italian Renaissance 1987, Bibliography, Maiolica, Italian Renaissance Ceramics in the Ashmolean Museum ISBN 0-907849-90-3